Traditionally, espresso coffee has been brewed at around 9 bar. A bar of pressure is roughly one atmosphere of pressure. If you climb a mountain or own an espresso bar in La Paz, then you have less air pushing down on you, but most of us are sitting close enough to sea level and one atmosphere. For every 10 meters that we go underwater, the pressure increases on us by one bar. So brewing espresso is like brewing coffee with 90 meters of water pushing down on top of the puck. To get another idea of how much pressure that is, the average car tire is 1.3 to 2 bar, which means that espresso coffee is brewed at 4 to 5 times the pressure of your average car tire. How do we get that much pressure into the group head? The three engineering solutions to the pressure problem are lever, pump, and variable pressure systems. The lever pulls the piston, allowing hot water into the chamber. The water soaks through the coffee bed at line pressure. As the lever is lifted, the spring engages and 9 to 10 bar of pressure pushes down on the water. Throughout the pour, the spring expands and the pressure on the coffee declines. When the lever reaches the top, the pressure is close to 1 bar. The cup should be pulled away at the point of best extraction. Rotary vein pumps are the most common source of brew pressure in commercial espresso machines. When we push the button to pour the shot, the espresso machine switches the pump on. When we push stop, the water stops. And the pressure in the group head is released. Variable pressure machines like La Mazzocco Strada and the Seneso Hydra use variable pumps or fixed pumps with water bypass. They can play with pressure to change the flavour and texture of coffee. This is a picture of a La Mazzocco Strada MP group head from above. Turning the paddle adjusts the pressure. In practice, many users follow a profile similar to that of lever machines, but much more is possible. Variable pressure machines give seasoned baristas far more to play with.